Welcome, Governor Larry Hogan, and thank you for joining us for Big Ideas on a Little Stool. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. Since January 2015, Maryland has gained 63,000 jobs. Obviously, your policies and your initiatives have contributed to this. What can Maryland continue to expect from Governor Hogan? Well, we're really proud of our record, and we're going to continue to focus on the things that have been successful over the first 15 months. Our state had lost, before I was elected governor, 100,000 jobs. Our economy ranked 49th out of 50 states, and we've really turned things around. We had our best year for, for business in Maryland in eight years last year. We added 63,200 jobs. Last month, uh, we actually went to number one in the entire nation, not only in the uh, rate of job growth, but our small state uh, gained more jobs than any state in the country, and we're proud of that. We're going to keep focused on economic development, on helping businesses grow, on reducing our tax burden, on doing something about uh, uh, overburdensome regulations, and uh, our whole administration is focused on trying to uh, help companies grow and create more private sector jobs. In May, you'll be six months cancer-free. Congratulations. Thank you. You've seen the healthcare system in a way not many have. What are some improvements that can be made to the overall system? Well, first of all, thank you. I, you know, I went through a pretty tough cancer battle that I got uh, just a, not, not too long after becoming governor. I spent six or eight months going through intensive chemotherapy, and I got to see the healthcare system up close and personal. I can tell you I met a lot of incredible people, fellow patients and their families who were fighting much tougher battles than my own, and I met an incredible team of doctors and nurses and technicians that did an amazing job. I learned that in Maryland we're very lucky to have some of the best health care in the entire world. Uh, we've got uh, University of Maryland Medical System and Johns Hopkins, NIH, FDA, the, the National Cancer Center, all of those are Maryland uh, based operations and uh, you know, we're lucky to have access to the best health care in the world in our state uh, and you know, we've got to just uh, make sure that other folks around the country have, have similar options when they, when they run into serious illness. Who finishes with a better record this year, the Nets or the Orioles? Well, I got to go with the Baltimore Orioles. I mean, uh, I, mean I wish the Nets well, and I hope they have a good season as well. But uh, I gotta, I'm a homer. I'm going to have to go for our team, the Baltimore Orioles. Governor Hogan, thank you again. Thanks a lot.